Hello Aquarius, so great to be with you. Thank you for tuning in to Tara. And thank you for visiting my channel at Tara One Love Coach. Thank you for those of you that are listening to me on my podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the Tara One Show. So great to be with you and be here, Aquarius. Oh, wow, Aquarius, I'm so excited. I got a good feeling. Uh, strong messages that are going, that are coming in for you and things that will manifest in your life. Um, this will be a timeless reading, so it's not restricted by the physical time, but it goes by how it resonates with you intuitively. It goes by the universal time. If you hear something in this video and you're like, wow, I'm going through that, that's a timeless reading, okay? For those of you that are new to my channel, thank you. Um, consider subscribing and remember to click that notification bell. For those of you that are listening on my podcast, consider also to subscribe and follow me. Um, let me know that you're there. Okay, so I'm excited. So let's get started and we're going to look at Aquarius, the energies that surround you. The first message, spiritual message for you, Aquarius, is patience. Please have patience. Um, wait it out. Don't be overzealous or um, move into your emotions or your anxiety. Um, and continue to have the faith, believing that those things that you hope for and dream of will manifest for you. Hostilities. Also, you may need to kind of move back, let things simmer down. Um, if there has been some type of conflicts and some words uh, transpired between the both of you through communication, text, etc., be still. Okay? Be still. Things are going to work out. And also, some for some of you, maybe with those hostilities, has caused you, caused you to not only be still but fall back. Or maybe just leave the situation altogether. Break the barriers that are restricting you. And being able to walk away in your truth and in your strength here to on a better path. So there, there, there you go, looking back, all right? Looking back, yes, you're saying yes. Yes, I'm walking away. Mm-hmm because God has something greater for me. So I'm moving forward. So let's move, go a little bit deeper in your reading and let's see what the messages are for you. You have the seven of wands, see? Yes, I was about to say yes, B. I'm walking away, bitch. I am walking away because I am going to find something new. Okay. So yes, you are walking away. So I see great success for you. I see abundance for you and victory for you. Um, so you're go about to go in a direction. Maybe you, you have been through some type of, um, deceit to a certain extent, or someone was a bit manipulating, um, possibly that energy is in your reading, uh, Aquarius, but you're not allowing that challenge to hold you back. Um, we have here the queen of coins in reverse, whether male or female, but this is someone who's be have actually fallen on hard times with maybe going through a lot financially as well and maybe they're a bit unstable so this energy is coming in uh, around you so some unstable energy maybe a person is having some challenges um maybe someone is leaning on you for advice or support to a certain extent um, because this energy is coming up in reverse that's causing a little bit of worry and causing some anxiety so, 
Aquarius? Maybe this is why we see this walking away. Or maybe you're trying to help someone. And for some reason, I'm picking that up, that you may be trying to help someone that's leaning on you. Um, or you could be leaning on them. So, wow. It feels like this person may have gotten out of a bad situation or something is going on with this, this reading, um, with the hostilities. And then I see this energy coming up in reverse here. So you're an overcomer because you're starting out with the six of wands, six of staffs. And you're starting out and you're moving forward. Now, there's a lot on your plate. You're moving into the future with a lot on your plate. And you're trying to manage these things with the Ten of Wands that are coming into your future. Um, and illusions. Oh, wow. Got illusions, Aquarius. Hmm. That's interesting. And the reason why I say that, because this is the moon, this is the moon energy that's coming in. So it's showing that something is underneath the layers. It could be underneath the layers of that individual that you're dealing with in something that is not yet being brought to the light. But you have the Prince of Cups here. So that it's showing coming up in the near future that someone is going to reveal their heart to you a person is going to care for you with true emotions and true feelings here that's what i pick up here so maybe this is underneath this veil of the moon something that's hitting something that's being brought to the light that i feel actually will benefit you but at the same time the moon could also be about a bit of deception as well um, and I just feel like something around here in your past and another individual here has may have kind of been a negative energy to you, but I feel like you're, you're about to walk away to in that situation. You're about to let it go. And this is why the angel is telling you to be patient because something better is going to come along for you. And it's going to be someone that's going to reveal their heart to you true love you're going to be the power couple you're going to work together not against each other okay so i see a unity here so your significant your divine love your significant other is coming with this king of cups it's coming so continue to make that affirmation and visualize the good abundance that's coming up for you in the new year this season. Okay, let's just get uh, more confirmation here. This is express your love. So someone is going to be expressing their heart and expressing their love to you. And this is going to be someone that you can trust, Aquarius. By all means, someone finally you can trust that is not trying to manipulate you or manipulate the situation. All right. And not someone that you you have to walk on eggshells to. I, I get this like your tip like the person is asleep or somebody's trying to do something while you're not alert or while you're sleeping. OK, stay woke and flirt. So. This feels like an energy with, with, um, we got a person that is able to express their love, a person that you're able to trust, and a person that you're able to have fun and flirt with each other. It is time. It is safe for you to love. And Spirit is saying, now is the season. Now it is time. It is safe for you to love. Well, that concludes the reading, Aquarius. If this reading resonates with you, give the video a thumbs up. Also, tell me how by leaving a comment in the comment section. Also, share the video. Until next time, Happy New Year. God bless you.